Hi everybody. About to head out uh, to meet my friend Grace, which you've seen her on my vlog before, a while ago, I think. But anyway, yeah, I haven't seen her in a while because she goes to uni. Um, so she only comes back to London every now and then. So it'd be nice to do lunch with her. And then today, what else am I doing? So I'm just going back to visit one of my family friends. She is awesome. She's like my older sister. So today I'm just being like a social person um, out and about. And I'm going to vlog everything as much as I can. You know, the thing is like with being a vlogger, I'm trying to really balance life and camera life if that make any sense it's just that you know when i'm with somebody i really want to be focused with them but sometimes what i find recently is that like when i'm vlogging i'm not fully concentrating because i'm trying to think a million of things and try to get as many um footage as possible for editing so it's all that goes into my head and it just and then it became very like almost like anti-social even though i'm super social it's so weird like it's so weird um but this is all really new to me like you know the whole point um that i've started vlogging is you know i don't think i've ever talked about that but um it's because you know when i was in china last year with my family for about a month um they live in china by the way um and um i couldn't really express like myself with what i do as a job who i am as a person because obviously we live so far apart with each other like i've grown throughout the whole time and they've grown and changed and so yeah it was really quite difficult to explain or to like understand each other and it was quite sad because they're my own family you know and yet we almost don't know each other like me and my mom sometimes almost like who are you this person i don't even know you anymore that's why i decided when i came back you know what i'm just gonna vlog everything why not like so that i can show it to them and in a way that is the reason why i started vlogging so yeah that's how i <laughs> That's how I started. I can't believe I'm just telling you guys that now. Like, but yeah, I just thought it's a good idea to just share a little bit of like my channel, like, and a little bit about me, like, and also behind the thinking behind almost like the BTS of my vlog. And I think I haven't really done that. And I feel like it's time to now that I'm a bit more comfortable in front of a camera. Is it can be very difficult, like having a camera just talking and stuff. And a lot of people say to me, "Oh, you're such a natural." It's like no i'm not <laughs> it's taken like such a long time for me to get to where i am now and i'm still learning i've still got so much to grow and progress but yeah anyway i'm literally like running super late i'm meant to meet up with her for like 12 and it's like half 11 and i haven't even got my face done and i haven't even got my hair sorted so <laughs> what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a really quick natural makeup and i'm gonna be out for lunch with her ready to go so this is the makeup that i would have on a day-to-day -day basis super simple just brows lashes and a bit of highlighter and a bit of blusher and foundation obviously but um yeah i don't really like to put too much on i like to keep it as natural as possible and just enhancing what i already have okay gotta go now um yeah bye <laughs> okay so i've just got here <laughs> um, yeah, so we are, let me just put it here so we don't look as like anti-social, I'm just by myself and we're just there, like I'm not by myself, okay. So yeah, so we are just back here, Franco Manca. <laughs> so we're gonna have some pizza and uh, yeah, so we were just saying that I don't like mozzarella, no, I love mozzarella, I'm talking about, I don't like pepperoni on pizza. 
and I don't like pineapple. Like was with the um, hot pineapple situation on pizza. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's gross. It's like, I don't understand. But yeah. Anyway, yeah. I don't like barbecue sauce either as a as a base. Like, I just that's not pizza. <laughs> That was a big meal. I almost finished a pizza, but I didn't finish it fully. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, is it raining? No. Okay. Uh, we just had a really good catch up, and uh, food was good. I'm really full now. I hate. I ate pretty much a whole pizza, didn't I? Yeah, you ate more yeah. than me. I ate more than her. <laughs> Right, oh my goodness. So yeah, I just got a bottle of wine. And uh, it's for tonight when I go to my friend's house, even though I have no idea what I'm getting because I don't actually drink. Not for any special reasons, it's just that I'm such a lightweight. Like I just, and I don't actually like the taste of alcohol. But ever since I've been living at my best friend's house, um, she's been teaching me how to drink wine. And uh, I'm starting to like a few. Um, this one is the Pinot Grigio wine. I thought I was sick. When I went to m and I was like, okay, I know which one I want because I drank it last night at dinner. It was so nice. I didn't know they have different Pinot Grigios there. I didn't know. There were so many different types from different countries. Um, yeah, so I just got this. Hopefully, this is good. I hope not. Right, so I've just charged my battery. Um, it died earlier. So I am just here at my friend's house. Hi. There she is. Hi. <laughs> I lived with this lovely lady for like years. For like years. It was amazing. When She's she like, was, uh, that's the uh, primary school. No. Middle school. Middle school, high school. Middle school. High school, GCSE. Yeah, so basically during my high school time, in year 11, like 10, 11, I was with this lady here. And she's like my other mom. So yeah. Yeah, and Lana's like my sister. She's like, she went to uni before me. And then, because and I basically then just took your room and just kind of yeah. just stayed there. <laughs> right? You all oh, took yes. my room. Lana just yeah. left, isn't it? Lana just left. Yeah, she left and I moved in. Basically. And then I left. <laughs> Okay guys, it's time to go now. Bye bye! It's good to see you guys. Bye bye! <laughs> Where's Cece? She's over there. Mama to the vlog. <laughs> right, I'm out. It's gonna take me about 45 minutes to get back and there's no traffic, so yes. <coughs> Hi everybody. So, I'm feeling a bit rough, not gonna lie. I can't figure out if it's a hay fever, which I do suffer from, or if it's actually a cold, because the weather is, is crazy. Like yesterday when I went out for a meeting, when I left the house was like, what, 11? I was freezing. And by the time I finished my meeting was what, like one? It was so warm, like I was sweating. I couldn't really figure out what was happening. So basically this week I was planning um, to do a video based on this thing that I've been seeing on YouTube. It's been trending for a bit um, So it's called I tried following a blank makeup uh, Tutorial so a lot of people been doing that like they they go on to someone else's YouTube vlog and they Copy the other person's makeup look so yeah, so I think it's really like interesting It's like I never really followed the YouTube trend to be honest like I've never been that person but this one's actually really cool because first of all you get to be out of your comfort zone of how you would usually do makeup and you do someone else's makeup like step by step which is always a challenging but exciting thing and it really 
takes you out of your comfort place and you're trying something different and I really like that as a makeup artist because you know I do all sorts for other people but on myself I usually like to stick to what I like basically um, I went on a few um, people's channels and to see their makeup um, looks and everything and I thought um, what is it that I would least like to do on my face so that is something I'm going for it's something that I'm like not like I wouldn't usually do at all because I'm not a full coverage girl I don't like to do all this cut crease on my eyes I love doing them on other people but just but just not on myself so the person that is the most opposite to my style of makeup on myself is I think Nikki Tutorials um, if you don't know her you should definitely check her out she is awesome um, I will link everything down below um, yeah, Nikki is amazing. She she was like the queen of like, you know, the power of makeup that was trending for ages. I think she started something like that. And basically what it means is she, she, she did half of her face with full on glam, like how she does it. Um, and the other side is completely bare. And she was just trying to say she loved both. But her type of makeup, she's she's all about full coverage. She's all about like cut crease or colourful eyeshadows and you know just really out there and um, and highlight literally you can see it from space it's like wow which I love um, but yeah it's just not really me so she's the most opposite person um, when it comes to makeup style so um, I've decided I'm gonna do something based on her look that she did so um, yesterday, after my meeting, I went to MAC. Kitty. I got a nice strobe cream, but in the golden. I love them. They are so amazing. Um, they gave me some samples for the peach one that I didn't get. So I might put a little bit on today on my face as my base before I put my um, foundation on. Um, Actually, I'm going to try this foundation. They gave me the NC30 water weight uh, foundation. Then I got some mascara that I usually get. That's it really. Right, I need to dry my hair after as well. So we're just under an hour to get ready. So yeah, let's just do this. Oh, it's got such a nice cooling feeling to it. I'm just going to use my hand. So if you don't know what strobe cream is, it's just a illuminating cream that you will put with your foundation to create that extra dewiness or you can put it by itself just create like a really healthy looking glowy skin without your foundation or if you like to put it as a base first and then you will put your foundation on so it just creates that really dewy really nice um light textured um cream so if your skin is extra dry this is amazing honestly so this one's got a bit more of a peachy undertone to it. So this is NC30. I think this is my shade. I mean, it used to be my shade, but who knows? It looks a bit different, but we'll try. I feel like it's a little bit dark. Is it though? Just a little bit. It's a little bit warm. Or is it just me? Wow, it's such a lightweight. Can't feel anything. I feel like NC30 was never this dark or warm. Hmm, interesting. Very confused with my skin tone right now. Actually, it looks quite nice. No, it's okay. It reminds me of the Bobbi Brown foundation that I've been using, like a lot. Similar texture, similar finish, similar coverage. The coverage, as you can see, is very sheer because you can still see a few of my pigmentations around my skin, I think. It's not full coverage, but I like that way. I want my skin to breathe. I don't like to look as if I wore a lot of makeup. So I'm just going to contour a little bit using my Revolution foundation. This is the F13. I just need a little bit, like literally a tiny amount because it goes a long way. And I'm just buffing it out. It's so nice to blend. And again, it's very creamy. There we go. Super simple. 
maybe a bit of highlight ever so slightly so I'm using the F6 just a little bit underneath my eye and then just blending it out so with this sticks um, the coverage is like medium too it's not full coverage and it's super dewy and super creamy which I like ow so I just poke that brush into my eye ow <laughs> super natural and then I'm just going to powder a little bit so I'm not there to cake my face with it I'm just there to like set um, certain areas in place and now onto my brows which is always a pain to be honest because this is my brows like hardly any um i thought about microblading but i'm too scared i don't know if i'm gonna love it after a while i might get like bored with the shape or something i don't know because at least with pencil like if things go wrong you can just take it off and do it again i love this pencil it's so good. This is from NYX. Like ever since I bought it, I've been using nothing but really. So I like to shape it first and then sometimes I like to go in with a powder to fill it in. But sometimes I don't. It depends my mood. Powders will set on your face a lot longer because I do have a oily-ish face around that area, around my brows, around my T-zones. So having powder to set it is actually a good idea. I roughly create the shape. It's not perfect, but it's okay. And then I go in with my angled brush and my powder from Illa Masca. And then I'll just go over it with where I've put the pencil. It doesn't have to be super perfect. Now I'm going to go in with the foundation that's on my face with a flat brush and I'm just going to clean it up, carve it out the brows. So which means you can actually be quite messy as long as you filled it in. You can be as messy as you want really but this part if you just clean it with foundation then it's perfect. Some people use concealer, but I prefer foundation because of the color match, especially on the top of the brow. So if you're cleaning up here, you need to make sure you use a foundation rather than concealer because a lot of people's concealer are not their true skin tone color. Like a lot of it will be either too light or whatever. So you want to make sure that you get a shade that matches to your skin tone, which then is your foundation. Simples. And make sure you blend out it's all about blending i've been saying that from like day one really i'm very quick with everything else like i'm just using my bronzer and i'm just creating a bit of a definition around my lid and my lower lash line This is all I've been doing, like this is like my day-to-day -day basic makeup look. Super simple, super easy. So I'm using my e.l.f. Intense Ink Liner today, again. Okay. Ta-da! Super quick. Um... Oh yes, I recommend you curl your lashes every time, like regardless you have curly lashes or not, unless you have some extreme curly lashes, then you don't need it. But otherwise, we should all use eyelash curler. It really opens up your eyes a lot more and it really frames it. It's a very important step to have like a awake type of looking eyes, especially with oriental like Asian eyes. So I like to blush last, so I'm going to highlight first. Um, I am going to use my Fix Plus spray onto my brush to give a bit of a dampness to it. And then I'm going to go in with my Soft and Gentle highlighter from MAC.
it really intensifies the highlighter and it creates more of like a creamy texture rather than a powder texture when you dampen the brush. I haven't used Soft and Gentle in ages because I've been using others and um, I forgot how much I love it. I might smoke out my eye a little bit more. So I'm going to smoke it out with my Kiko eyeshadow in the number 206. It's like a really nice warm brown. I don't know if you can see it, it's quite broken. Um, I had it for years and it's amazing. So I just want to look a, a little, goes a long way. And I'm just going to follow my lash line. And I'm just going to smoke it out a little bit. I love this eyeshadow colour. It's like, it's cooler than a chocolate brown. But it's definitely like a warm eyeshadow colour. Okay, all done. Pretty much, this is what I do. Pretty much on a daily basis, apart from the eyeshadows. There you go. Sorted. Fresh skin. I really like the strobe cream underneath it. It creates that extra glow. It's so nice. I feel nothing on my skin. Like, nothing. Honestly, it's so nice. So we just got to Regent Street. <laughs> right, I'm so excited for this event. I can't wait to see my baby. It's been so long. I feel like this project has taken him away from me for like two weeks. No, I'm just, I'm just being dramatic, but um, yeah, so here it goes. Shame. Johnny's here! Hey! I, I look so short next to you. I'm actually really tall. Sorry about that. Yeah, the best thing about being in Apple is that when your phone is on a low with battery, you can just charge it. Play Hillsong Young and Free. Here's a personalized station of Hillsong Young and Free. Yeah. <laughs> 
just like <laughs> Feeling happy. I'm not emotional. I'm emotional for different reasons now. <laughs> <laughs> we are faded out of that. You right. You panned as well. Panic. Hello. <laughs> 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 so you can't miss so, um, it. Contain me, bro. Yeah, these are my friends. These Dan are my friends, just so you know. These are my friends. And then there's one more over there who doesn't like to be Don't on the camera. <laughs> right, so yeah, so that was a great day, great evening. Um, I'm super, super full. And uh, we are just waiting for an Uber to uh, go back home now. Could have been too much. Did I turn around and saw Johnny? And then I turned around again, it just got worse. <laughs> The thing is, it wasn't like I didn't get hurt by it. It's just such a shock, but, but my <laughs> my reaction made it sound like it. Oh. <laughs> I can't deal with stuff like that.